So we've got ourselves over here to day number three. We are starting off with the quarterfinals. These are all best of fives. Winning this, though, sends you to the semifinals, where we do move on to best of sevens. Indeed. Well, this is a, definitely, I think, a good thing for G2, because they've been just destroying best of fives this whole weekend. And the crowd are definitely going to be pretty loud for G2. Even yesterday, the loudest that we heard the audience who were watching was when G2 were playing and when they were winning in dominant fashion. So I'm expecting a lot more of that today. Digging test really up against it. They've, I think, had the easiest run to get to day three. So if G2 can take what they did yesterday, replicate it, I would not be surprised to see a sweep here. But the Zanaka crowd is ready. Let's get ourselves into it. Game number one of our championship Sunday. It is Dignitas, it is G2. We're doing it over on DFH Stadium. Now we've heard all about how Astral's been this weekend, how he's been pulling off some of the best plays that we've seen. But we've had this story for quite a few teams this weekend overall. We had it with TSM who had Alpha they were looking to rely on. We had it with Reciprocity with Chaussette. Not many teams that have got that one star player that they look towards have had that much success. Yeah, you know, the French Fennec players have been dominant in Rocket League recently. You know, Astral is from Belgium, but he speaks French, so he, I think, he does fit the bill there. We're looking to him for good things, but just like yesterday, it's G2 who opened the scoring 1 0. That's a brilliant pass from Chicago, but the placement from JNAPS was necessary. Yeah, G2 are just unrelenting with their offensive pressure. And it's going to be able to dig the task to try and figure out a way to just get them to back off a little bit. Gibbs did bring up that maybe if Dignitas could offer a decent offensive threat, that maybe it could force Rizzo to move back. But it is Rizzo putting that pressure on. Astral does get a decent challenge against Chicago, but Jinnap's up next. Tries to turn it in. There was a little bit of extra hassle going on, but now Vinyl Panda looking for the transition. It's going to be Rizzo with yet another challenge. And he catches Dignitas trying to creep forwards. Yeah, so far Rizzo is looking great, and this is the important thing for G2 because he fell off an awful lot at the Beyond the Summit, where they were 2-0 in group stage. And he disappeared. Chicago double touch off target. Jay Naps into the bar as well. In comes Rizzo. He's at the bar. Full team crossbar plays from G2. That should be 2-0. We've really got all three players. I would have suggested that they should all be scoring their respective shots there. Yeah, absolutely none of them were really challenged. G2, major opportunity to double their lead. They don't take it, but to them so far is that they've not really been that troubled on the other side of the field. Dominating possession, dominating territory, and for the most part, dominating boost. They just want to find that extra goal to give them a bit of a cushion. Yep. Asriel getting taken out of the game by Rizzo. As I said before, they're the two players I'm looking at. Team bump from Yukio and Panda. Not what you want if you're a dig fan. D2 have been able to play their game so far pretty comfortably, but that's a good bounce off the wall. Asriel not putting his shot on target either. Both teams struggling with accuracy in game one. The Dignitas, that was the exact player they wanted taking that shot as well. Unable to put it on target. Nice tap across from Chicago. Can't get any stuff by the Panda. It's going to be very interesting to see how far up Dignitas are willing to push that defensive line because G2 being happy to pass on the time. That's another one that's going to rattle the crossbar. Four in a row now. The G2 keep getting the shots close, but Johnny, as I was saying, G2 are not going to back off. You need to find the right spot to try and intercept one of these passes, because if you don't, they will not leave. Yeah, they are, I think, the most impressive offense in Rocket League at the moment as a full team. Look at the shots they're able to Number put together. Five. So many crossbars for G2. The 1-0 lead stands, and this is not going to be a problem for them. I think it's they're not getting any possession. They're not getting any threats themselves. G2 just have to keep their composure prevent themselves from missing any of their midfield clears. They should be just fine. Astral just pops it up. JNAMS can easily take control. He's going to just keep the ball up into the air, get some more boost out of Yukio. Just try and pass it out. But yet again, G2 immediately take control yet again. And Perfect from Dignitas, though. So that's two touches in a row that are giving the ball away. G2 easily able to take possession. It's not like they've made any crazy reads for that. They've just walked forward and taken it. Now Astral, double touch, down low. Chicago in the right place. Really clear from him. You know, sweeping in at the right time as a defender. Just as important as, you know, arriving in attack at the right time. So well done, Chicago, keeping G2 ahead. Big have started to get more offensive pressure, though. 
for them is that they can get an opportunity to get back in, but also might work towards G2 who can catch them on the counter-attack. What a pinch that is, unintentional <laughs> from Yukio. But G2, well, that's certainly helpful for them. Yukio is going to be too high up. Chicago is over the corner. This will be crushing for G2 if they do lose this lead because they could have easily been three, four goals ahead with the amount of chances they've had. Looking a bit shaky in defense. Clears for both teams actually have been struggling. It's unusual, that's something that is prioritized in game one, especially in the final days of tournaments like this. Just get the ball clear, make sure you hit it as hard as you can. G2 with 25 seconds remaining in game one, still relying on that one goal lead that they've had from the first minute of the game. Jane Apps, straight into Panda. Less than 20 seconds left now, Dignitas. After their first major opportunity on net, it's going to be up to Rajkov trying to get something going, but no reset means he has to try and force the challenge. Panda to the corner for Astral again. Looking to try and set up, but that needed to be so much more direct towards his fellow teammate. And instead, G2 will drop this one down. And Johnny, that was one of the most dominant 1-0 victories you'll see. It was very easy for G2 in the end. There was one scare where Azrael had a, th a three-touch, I think, here dribble into rebound opportunity. That went off target. There was, I guess there was another Astral rebound which went wide as well. But besides that, there's been nothing happening for Dignitas. No passing. There's been no um, real ability to get the ball past G2 on the midfield line. For G2, they'll be wanting a little bit more clinical accuracy on their final plays. Oh, yeah. Really should have been more convincing than it was. Three in a row. I mean, Rizzo, he's often, I think, for the player for G2 who will hit the bar on a shot where he could maybe be scoring, and then it's, you know, Jane Apps or Chicago coming in with the finishing touch. But that time, Rizzo was the third man in, and yeah, he just hit the bar. So he needs to try and put that one underneath the crossbar next time he's given a chance like that. But so far, I mean, he's not been making any clean whiffs on aerials, which is something we saw from him beyond the summit. But Rizzo had such a great start to that tournament finished a little bit weaker this tournament. He started off even better. And although he's not brought his, you know, day two highs into day three just yet, he's still looking perfectly okay. And that's all G2 need. They just need Rizzo to be playing solid. Well, we did, we did mention earlier on that the best of five might suit G2 a lot more. Might be able to steamroll. I think so. With their current play style. They've got one third of it done. Astro puts it off the side and easily taken away by Rizzo. It's something I've actually got to give G2 credit for. They've been a lot calmer on their defense than we've seen from them in previous years. I think Rizzo just didn't respect Astro's ability to score from that angle. He could see the ball was getting away from him. So he let the shot come in and did hit the post. So good read by Rizzo. That's a shot off the post by Astro. Another coming in from Yukio Panda. Puts it under the bar. 1-0 Dingitas. G2 couldn't get the ball clear. Just a phenomenal pop from Yukio. Gets a lot of angle on it to put it straight down the middle. Makes the shot for Violent Panda pretty simple. JNAP's got to be on zero boost. So he would have been up to challenge that, or at least to try and get in the way of the shot. Even if he had 10 boosts, so really bad time to run dry. Talking about the potential rollover. Dignitas have managed to automatically prevent that. Infield pass again. This is exactly how G2 scored last game. Don't get in before this time around. Now Panda onto the transition. Flip reset and, well, it sort of scores himself rather than the ball. If people needed him in some other location by the looks of things. Chicago, another infield. JNAP's coming in from a bad angle. Can't take the shot they would have wanted, but Astral for once not looking confident. And it might cost his what? team. Requires a teammate to bail him out. Everybody's just queuing up on Dingitas to not hit the ball. <laughs> it's bouncing around their box. They do get rid of it. That's an unusual play from Astro, like you said. The star man for Dig ever since he's joined the roster. And off the bar, Astro's looking to rebound it with a reverse takeoff. He doesn't even get close. He gets us grinding to a halt once more. That's better from Yukio. Runs on ahead and knocks Rizzo away from the play. Chicago, half getting mind game. This Rizzo in goal all alone, and Astro off the corner. Not able to go close to the goal. He gets us still hanging on to that one goal lead, but. G2 look to be getting out of their half pretty easily. Where is it? Goalkeeper for G2, though. They're not playing patiently with their last man. Absolutely not, and it almost got them caught on that play. First time we've seen Dignitas really hold on to offensive pressure for a somewhat prolonged period of time. They did pretty well with it until they were forced out. 
Just now Chicago and the rest of G2. They're going to look to do what they've done so well all weekend long. But what a clear from Astral. Leaves Rizzo by himself. He's got to try and buy some time as Chicago gets himself back. Astral's got Yuki over in support. Looks for the bump on Chicago who narrowly avoids it. That's good slow play there by Rizzo. Needed to give Chicago time to position and goal behind him. Done well. Rizzo actually interfering with Yukio's aerial. Coming in for looks to be an infield pass, perhaps. Very fast and not even close to Rizzo. Was sitting a bit too far back. With the game gone, G2 not creating chances. The same rate as they did last game. Absolutely not. Chicago. Oh, oh, what an angle that would have been to score from. Came ever so close to even us up from absolutely nowhere. Chicago, though, clears along. So JNAPS, he can put these ones in, instead just can't dip it low enough. Incredibly fast aerial by JNAPS. Dignitas are looking a bit sluggish. G2 wrapped things up. Yukio actually hitting the ceiling with his clear, but nobody moving in for G2 to challenge. More and more passing plays, though, coming out from G2. They recognize that they're getting a lot of space in the midfield. And they have to Dignitas to try and shut that one down, or they could just be happy with it, because the thing about most passing plays is there's always that one critical pass that you have to commit on. It's going to be dropped down. Yukio oh! slams it in! Well, you know, if you give Yukio that much time and a completely free ball, he is not going to hold back with the power. No chance for G2 in defense. That Great was a venomous shot, Johnny. He probably knows he didn't have to hit it that hard, but he wanted to. He wanted to hit it in as fast as possible. This is to send G2 a message. So 2 0 for Dignitas. Maybe about 3 3. Up comes Violent Panda, and Chicago will clear. A minute and a half on the clock. And it is possible for G2 to make something work with this amount of time left, but right now they've been lacking for chances. Yeah, let's see what they try to do with their remaining minute and 15 seconds. Definitely played a patient game with their offense. Only that same patience had been shown in defense. Maybe they wouldn't have been out of position for that last goal. And somebody ready to attack the ball. Look at that though from Chicago. They were just going to return the favor. This time it's Dignitas beat to the punch. And once again, it's those infield passing plays by G2. They've had to pull it back a little bit. Some of them were happening a lot further downfield, but now they're moving it close and close to the midfield and sort of relying on the shot to be a lot stronger. It was the right decision to make. The Dignitas have seen their lead cut in half. Still plenty time as well for G2 to make something happen. That's two Dignitas players out of the game. Astral's going to rotate back, but for the time being, it's Yuki alone. There is Astral just in time. Save a shot which was on target. Nice block again, but it's only as far as Violent Panda. For Astral, it does tap down, but it's got a blue trail. It'll eventually be clear to the midfield. Astral's going to take plenty of time. Recognizing that him and his teammates will need to tie for a few more seconds. And they'll tie us up at one game apiece. G2 now are really running out of time. Dignitas have kept them boxed in. In their goal, that's not where G2 like to play. Nice pass by Yukio. Astral shot saved by JNAPS. More opportunities coming in for Dig, but G2 looking to break away. Can happen. Could be all good for Astral. Very patient. Just wants to play for time here. Now they just need to see the ball hit the floor. There it is. And it will do exactly that. Dignitas bounce back very well. Yeah, unfortunate in defense for G2 with the first goal. No boost at all on JNAPS. He's got to be careful to manage that just a bit better. But credit to Dig. They didn't just sit on that one goal lead, which I think against G2 is always a misplay. They went, looked for more. Yukio with the offensive run upfield gave them two goals. That was enough to secure the win. The question coming into this is, how would G2 react against the team that can control the midfield just as well as they do? That's what Dignitas did this time around. Definitely not anywhere near as much territory as G2 have been used to throughout this tournament. And now, as we head into game number three, we're going to find out whether or not G2 are just going to try and execute plan A better, or if they're going to start to adapt a little bit. I think right now it's going to be more of the same for both teams. But see there, if Chicago is all just, you know, sitting back in goal, he can probably beat Yukio to that ball, or certainly contest him. But he came forward. He wanted to be in a more aggressive position, and he's caught himself out at the end of the day. He had to do just a circle on the spot before starting his aerial. That's not good enough. At this level, you have to be in position before the takeoff even becomes a necessity. Game 
number three. Whoever wins this will go on to match point. Try and book their spot in the next round. G2 and Dignitas both having very solid games each. V Chicago looking to try and drop that one down. There would have been no one around to really help him out, but more trying to be a nuisance than anything else. And it is J Naps once again. G2 starting us off well at the moment in the opposing side of the field. Chicago again off the backboard, followed up by J Naps for the net. And Yukio has to just parry it away. Nice save by Yukio. Dignitas will take them all under control. That's more promising from G2. The passing is what we want to see from them. They are the best team in the world at connecting those passes, but not making it obvious. Difficult to intercept their passing plays. Turn it around and use it against them. Astro will take control of the ball. It's the flick that he wants. He's got one player down, but G2, as always this weekend, have been very good at that wave defense. But that's oh. yet again, and this is something that Dignitas keep going back to. Really nice pass by Yukio. Jnaps carelessly lobs the ball forward. And Yukio had the option to shoot from distance. Instead, uses Panda to his right. And Chicago beats into it again. This could be a weakness for G2. They're leaving their net wide open quite often. And that's not what Dignitas are doing at the other end of the field. In fact, using multiple goalkeepers in most situations. This is one of the issues that come with G2's high offensive line. Means that when the counter-attack does come in, you're already starting to rotate back. It makes it very difficult to put someone in the way of those shots. That's better. Chicago reading the pass before it happens. Moves aggressively into position to challenge. He wasn't able to connect to this bump, and that means that Dignitas will easily defend the incoming shot. More chances for G2. That's off the post and out. Blows for Chicago. Dignitas get away. Very scary situation. And they're pressing once again. G2 not able to keep Dignitas back like they did in game one for the longest time. Rizzo does get a dim on by the Panda. That might offer some extra space for G2 to work with. They are going to take it. Rizzo's up for the shot. It was very weak and almost was so oh, weak that goodness. it brought Yukio out. Well done by Dignitas using their own bar to help clear the ball. Two are being frustrated here. They will certainly feel like they should be ahead in this series. They find themselves trailing. Dignitas are sitting really deep. And this is impressive for Mastro because I've criticized him a lot in the past for being so impatient, moving off the goal line too early and leaving the net wide open. That's not been a problem for them today. Over to the halfway point here in game three. Still Dignitas one goal for the better. It's a careless drop down. Mastro will take control. Now by the Panda, be clean. Here's Chicago. Might have Jane Apps' passing option, but the first touch too heavy means he can't quite reach it. Instead, Jane Apps is trying to hold on to the offensive pressure, but not last long enough. Both teams trading possession right now, only as far as Vinan Panda. And it's that typical shooting spot that Dignitas have found a lot of success from. Don't get anything that time around. Yeah, these two have noticed that Dignitas are looking to go infield almost every time. That's two in a row that G2 have kept out of the net. Dignitas are smart enough to change it up again. Rizzo beating two to the ball. Jane Apps to the follow-up. 1-1. One, one. I'm fairly certain the save was attempted to go around the back of the goal. Take a look one more time. Astral tries to be cheeky. Oh, that's Jane Apps <laughs> slots it low. Yeah, really good placement by Jane Apps. If you see the defender heading up into the crossbar, no point hitting it into the air like you usually would. I love that from Rizzo. He attacked the near post so early that the last defender for Dignitas beaten to the ball and also knew nothing about it. Now Yukio off the back, follows up his own touch. It's JNAPS to get rid of the danger. Next goal is massive to the complexion of this series. Yukio dives forward. Wants to keep this ball away from everybody over in blue. He's like trying to find some way out. Can't get the pinch he was after, but can follow up his own touch anyway. Gonna keep taking it the other side of the field. Yukio doesn't come out great challenge. It's straight over to JNAPS. Both teams trading opportunities, but it's Jane Apps the first one. But as you mentioned, the Dignitas have got better this series at reacting to those plays. That was brilliant by Yukio to the pass from G2. It was a very quick one. You'd expect the shot to be uncontested, but Yukio was moving full speed before the pass even happened. He managed to run that right into a challenge. That will be Chicago and Yukio. Yukio coming on over top. He's doing very well in a lot of these little individual duels right now. 
Astral, unchallenged, doesn't quite hit it well. I think even he was expecting somebody to come up over towards him. Here is Astral for the flip reset. Instead, just make, takes another challenge. The fact that he is rotating up in the air does make it very difficult for G2 to read. G2, they're looking nervous for a bit there, but they will clear the ball. Attempted to demo our boost steal for j but he didn't get either. Astral coming out with everything. And now here's j -Naps. he saved his dodge for the shot. And had it covered. 10 seconds left, Chicago will leave it for Rizzo, whose shot is not going to trouble Dignitas. Last opportunity though, it will be for G2. It's a from Chicago. He is the initial threat. He's flying after the ball, even though they probably know he's not going to get the double touch. He goes near the ball, forcing the pre-jump from Astral. And then when that doesn't come to fruition, the net is wide open for JNAPS. Dignitas have one second left to tie the game. And it's not going to happen. G2 come back from behind in game three, lead the series 2-1. What a close series it has been so far. G2 are one step away from booking their place in our top four. But for Dignitas at the moment, you've got to wonder just where, we're, where it went wrong. But look at the plays overall, and just G2 are so difficult to get away from. As soon as they nab the two midfield boosts, it's like they're impossible to escape. Yeah, this is really well done from G2. Look at these goals. Force misplay, and then the second goal to win the game. Another force misplay. Chicago here, he knows that he's probably not going to reach that. You can see he let go of his boost even, so that's he's called off it by JNAPS. But the fact that he's there, and that Azrael in goal has so much respect for Chicago's double touch potential, that forced uh, Azrael into the air. Then, no goalkeeper for Dignitas. Easy goal for JNAPS. So is it all going to be over in the next five minutes? Or can Dignitas force game five? G2 have looked probably the most consistent we've ever seen them in any tournament. They're on a good streak right now. They've, the last two infield passes for Dignitas in game number three were both shut down by G2. Before that, that's how they were conceding. So if they can keep that up, I really don't see much of a threat from Dignitas outside of Astro's solo plays. It's actually been a very interesting switch that we did see in game three where as we mentioned, the infield passes from both teams have been less effective. Both teams now happier to move towards the backboard. More individual plays. There it is again for Dig. Mistakes. It's not working again for Dig. G2, unlike Dignitas, I think they've got just more speed in offense. Look again how they easily set up at the near post. And Dignitas, too slow to react. Now G2 with the pressure. Chicago, low boost, but we've seen him in this position before. Uh, yeah, it was the last time with Jane was running forward, but now Vinan Panda by himself. It's not a great touch from him, though. Good and that ball. really gave Rizzo a get-out-of-jail-free card. Here comes Rizzo, though. Connecting with the pass has been the problem quite often for these two teams. They know they need to pass perfectly if they're going to make it work in a matchup where everybody's so aware of the plan of their opposition. On the planet with the bounce down, read well by Azrael. Also Chicago matching him for speed and positioning. Rizzo clears. And as far as Astral off the backboard again, this is going to require a touch from GNMs, and he massively does so. It's the ability to get these, you know, really difficult reads from behind on their own back wall that enables G2 to press further up the field than other teams do because whenever they're tracking back, they don't miss the ball very often in these positions. Well, we've seen it numerous times this weekend about how risky those plays can be as well. We've seen at least three own goals from those positions. But G2, they're not worried about that right now. They trust themselves to make the right touch every single time. Astral. For the tap down, follow up, not going to be there. Dignitas understood as well that Rizzo was in the correct position. Now we've got G2 starting to move to the other side of the field. Jane Apps wins the challenge. Oh. It's actually unchallenged. Yukio tried to be cheeky. Yeah, Yukio not making contact with his flip. He kind of warped around the ball. Fortunately for him, Jane Apps' shot was saved in the near post. G2 continues to press. Astral. Not able to get too much distance on the clear. He follows again, but needed some help from Yukio. Chicago for the infield for Rizzo. Rizzo to win it, or at least put his team a little bit cold. Oh! Who is Jane Apps? Well, whistles past the ball. Unfortunately for G2, made no contact. That's a let off for Dig. They're not clearing the ball well. Look at the double commit as well from Yukio and Panda. 
They're getting desperate at the defense, G2's pressure that they've been applying, starting to take its toll on Dignitas mentality. And look at this pass from Rizzo. Infield starting to get red. Well, how about this one? Off the ceiling. The duos that G2 are sending forward seem confident in every single move. And every time they pass, the only way it's getting stopped is if Dignitas get a player in the way because these have been pinpoint accurate. Well, how do you read that? I mean, this, this is just brilliant communication from G2 because Chicago's moving up. He knows that Rizzo's trying to do just that. What a save by Jane Apps. G2 actually almost lost their lead right after getting it. Actually, the save being as close as it was helped G2 <laughs> launch the ball clear of danger. Rizzo tries to bump Astral. That is going to be the rest of G2 probing for that second goal. Rizzo can't take it. Yukio it's slide it over to the other side of the field. Maybe go for a hook shot. Never really an option. Now Astro over to Yukio. And Chicago dives across again. The infield pass not working out. Yeah, this was doing work for Dignitas earlier on. G2 have, I think, prevented the last four or maybe five infield passes in a row. But what Dignitas going to do to try and score? We've only got a minute and 37 seconds to come up with a plan. I really don't look, doesn't look like they're going to get very many chances. G2 continue to press and dominate the possession. Yukio again. And keep going back to this. They add an extra touch to it. Just not accurate now. No adaptation from Dignitas. They have to change something here. What they're doing is not working. G2 all over them. The worst part about playing against G2 is that that time just disappears. Every single time they get the ball in your side of the field, it's going to be like 20 seconds or so before you even have an opportunity to get rid of it. And they just got one minute now. And uh, launches it into the back porch. I goes there. Rizzo, brother. Let's see now if uh, G2 can just run down the clock with consistency. I think that's giving G2 a lot of space. As the clock ticks down, more and more time just being wasted. And they're moving forward. Beat Chicago over the backboard. Here's Astro, and not even he's going to be able to hit that shot. Does back down. Just too much angle, and this is on target. Panda forced to clear. A big save there by Panda. Think it's Astro still alive in the tournament. Need a goal in the next 30 seconds. That's close for Yukio. Rebound off target for Panda as well, and Astro's hit the ball more vertically than on target. 16 seconds for Dig. And Dignitas understand that they can't afford to lose this possession. They have done, though. G2 have got rid of the ball. Have they now got rid of Dignitas? Panda drops it down, only as far as Rizzo. j and that will do it! G2 are going to be moving on. They get their revenge. Dignitas eliminated them from beyond the summit. Now they've sent Dignitas home from DreamHack Montreal G2 all but into the top four. I mean, it is technically possible to tie the game from here, but we all know that G2 will advance from this position every single time. Well played. They figured out Dignitas' plan and they executed their own to perfection. They will be ecstatic with that performance, showed the experience that they have, adapted incredibly well to Dignitas' passing plays. And as soon as they had that one down, Dignitas had nothing left to really threaten. You know, based on what we've seen so far, I would I would agree with Gibbs. I think these, they're looking like they're going to make the run. G2 still looking so strong, so consistent. When they do play their best, they look so difficult to beat. And they're going to be playing in the semi-final, the winner of NRG versus GCR. That'll be coming up later. First, we're going to go over to a quick break. When we come back, we'll chat to G2 about that big win.